You're not gonna hurt me, huh? <gasps> Shut off, Switch. You saw me save you. So, where are you from? You came from the sky, right? From up there? Don't you remember anything? Hmm. Maybe it's that bump on your head. Do you talk? You know, words, blah, 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 like that? Can you do that? Blah, blah, blah? Well, you get the idea anyway. Let's see. See this? This is called a rock. Rock. Good. Yes. No, no. That is a tree. Rock tree. Get it? That's right. Well, my own giant robot, I am now the luckiest kid in America. This is unbelievable. This is the greatest discovery since, I don't know, television or something. I gotta tell someone. I should call some, no, they'll pan. People always wig out and start shooting when they see something big like you. Oh, wig out, it means crazy. You know, like, uh, <laughs> no, 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 don't do that. That's the kind of stuff that makes them shoot at you. Two nights ago, at approximately 1900 hours, SATCOM radar detected an unidentified object entering Earth's atmosphere, losing contact with it two and a half miles off the coast of Rockwell. Some assumed it was a large meteor or a downed satellite, but my office in Washington received a call from someone who reported an actual encounter with the object. This is no meteor, gentlemen. This is something much more serious. So? So we can't call Ripley's Believe It or Not because they wouldn't believe it. And, uh, oh, it's getting dark. And if I don't get home soon, Mom's going to wonder where I am. And if she comes looking for me and sees you, then we got the screaming problem again. So for now, would you, would you, you know, just, just stay here, okay? I'll come back tomorrow. Well, goodbye. No, no! Me go! You stay! No following! Good. I told you! I'll come back tomorrow! Now stay!